Hello boys and girls, as promised, we got a breakdown. Got, we got prices, a breakdown how much money we spent, all of it up to this point, more or less. All right, starting with I love it. The, the Dream Machine, 1768, that was from the uh, auction, Copart. Right. Copart auction, which Luke found. Uh, with you know damage and all that stuff, which which has a rebuilt title. No salvage. Yeah. Salvage title. It doesn't okay. have a rebuild. We gotta get to that point. Yeah, we're gonna get to it. Uh, we don't even have it. No, no. So so 1768 for the car alone. Transport was five hundred dollars, and it was it came from Pennsylvania. Yes. Went straight to a body shop. Uh, a friend that owns the body shop. We still don't know how much we're going to have to pay uh, someday for the work they've done. You saw, especially at the first, second episode, what we had to still do. They kind of just, uh, you know... I just, they, they, they did what they were asked to do, yeah. right, basically. We told them that, that that thing is going to be beaten on, so... Yeah, at that point, we didn't know that we need to go, the car needs to go through inspection and such to actually get it registered. So... It's not registered yet. We actually drove on dealer plates to Wisconsin, uh, but we will. Thanks, try. Daniel. Thank you. You know who you are. Thank you. But we will want to register it, get it through inspection. Um, you know, so it's a legit car, uh, and we'll get to it. You basically need uh, legit receipts. Uh, I think the car needs to be painted, right? Or, uh, or we, look we, like. We we gotta get to that point. I have to ask Daniel. Yeah, we don't know yet. We're not sure yet what we exactly what we need to do. But uh, and if that damage that was not fixed properly, if that's gonna pass. Obviously, it's you know it's safe. I uh, think it, the inspection. You know, I read up on it uh, on the DMV website, and it says they only checking if the parts are le legitimate. Basically, legit parts. Le yeah, legit. Parts. Okay, like original maybe or whatever. Yes, so where you know, okay. so you, it's not not stolen. So they are not concerned about, you know, the safety of the car, per se. Okay, so the way the car was damaged, we know it's it's safe to drive. Uh, okay, It's no, aligned, it's not, not Yeah, it's anything. aligned. We replaced all the damaged uh, parts, you know, suspension-wise and all that stuff. Uh, and the only thing, or the body is really, inside body on the inside of the fender, passenger side is still damaged. It's all wrinkled up, but, you know, who cares? Anyway, so the body shop, we don't know yet. And, okay, so this is the 525 for the 98 Trans and Differential, which Luke already had. He paid 525. Actually, it's... And he, at the same time, he bought the suspension. From 04 STI. Uh, 04 STI suspension. Okay, so... They were, they were on the same car, on the, on the 98 uh, Legacy GT. So, you know, I pulled okay. it off from the uh, same car. So he pulled it off... Uh, the struts and the trans and diff which you know came in handy thanks to the tow truck guy <laughs> so if that wasn't if it wasn't for the tow truck guy we would probably save at least i would say 350 dollars maybe even more okay <clears throat> moving on tires and wheels tires were 250 yes what were what were the tires uh general general ultimax arctic 12 okay so that's that winter the, tires winter tires yeah we do have spikes but we didn't we only did a test drive uh on the last episode you saw we only use them for practice runs three practice runs and that's it we kind of ditch them and we're gonna keep running the winter tires or not we'll see so and then uh 110 for the wheels those black wheels that you saw moving on tie rods which uh, was part of the repair, forty-five dollars. Control arms, two hundred. Thanks, Parker. It's a little wider right now, and uh, we still had, we had to get an, a control arm anyways. So it just made made sense to spend maybe a little bit more, and then uh, get STI control arms. Uh, then bushings. So this is another thing we need to we want to thank the uh, forklift driver this time basically the car got lifted at the at the auction most likely by the by the rear and bent the both control arms uh, the rear lower control arms i think that they're, they're called 
Not trailing arms? Trailing, I think, whatever. You saw the video, you know what I'm talking Those about. Those parallel ones. Yeah, so because of that, we decided to kind of do it the right way. Well, we didn't buy new control arms. We <laughs> made them straight in the press. But I'm talking about the Jesus bolts. Those long-ass bolts that hold the control arms. Those were $23 and $17 for the bushings. Bushing. We had to remove one bushing because it was just impossible to remove, to not damage it, removing that bolt. So quick note on that bushings, you know, from a dealer, I don't know what the deal with those bushings are, but from the dealer, they are $34 a piece. You can get them from uh, Napa. That's what I, you know, went and Napa had them in stock. They were like $7 and some tax. So it came up to uh, $17, you know, total for two. So this brings me to a point, you know, you got a project going on, spend the extra time shopping around, looking online, asking people, Facebook, YouTube, you know, comment section, whatever, uh, where you can get those parts. Don't be afraid to get used parts, you know. I mean, we probably saved, I'm guessing here right now, maybe $300, maybe even more on just getting, you know, used parts from the junkyards, uh, shopping around, you know, Rock Auto, uh, AutoZone, whatever, you know, not dealer. Don't go to the dealer every single time. Sometimes you have to. Yeah, sometimes you do have to. Like for our gaskets, we went to the dealer. For the bushing. For which one? Which bushing? No bushing, our bearing. Or the bearing, yeah, the bearing and the gasket is, I think those are the only things that we got from the dealer. All right, suspension, uh, bushing. Suspension came with the uh, trends and diff, maintenance, 141, probably a little bit, little bit more, maybe 160. Well, let's include uh, spark paint, plugs. spark plugs. Let's just go 160. Uh, trends oil, diff oil, engine oil, engine filter, oil filter. No, no trends oil. That's a gender. Sorry, sorry. Gender fluid. Gender fluid. <laughs> Neutral gender fluid. <laughs> Neutral gender fluid. That, that's correct. <laughs> Seriously. Um, what else was for maintenance? I think that's it. Spark plugs? Spark plugs, yeah. Uh, so that was maintenance. So now, body parts. Everything used. Hood, 140. With the hood came the headlight. So 140 for the headlight and the hood. Fender, bumper beam and intake box was 90 now if intake intake box because we want to keep it stuck you know to stay at the lowest group at autocrosses and whatever we're, prob we're probably gonna ditch it anyway yeah ditch it anyway but uh, you know if you have a performance intake then you know you wouldn't buy a we have a performance control arms yeah 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 no this is all stuck we're oh about... you're right, right, it is, right. It is, technically it is all right subaru stock Right. Anyways, uh, so I'd like to intake, uh, let's say fender. Okay, fender. Wait, that was, I was just talking about the fender. Bumper, 125. Bumper cover, 125. That's the bumper beam. Headlight intake box. Okay, moving on to the fender liner. Rock Auto, $15. Transverse things. Those The, the things that go inside the uh, control arm where the ball, lower ball joints are. Those, those were the dealer, actually. Yeah, right. That too. $32 and okay that brings me to another point you know you're on the phone with the parts guy at the dealer you know you 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 got your order in you know go like hey man can you you know give me a, some kind of a discount you know ask for it you know I, I've shopped here before hey man anything you can do for me you know try it sometimes they'll give you 10% sometimes not uh, CV axles 110 that's because uh, coming back to the tow truck guy Thanks again. So 110 because he dragged the rear wheels on the road basically and uh, shot dead the center diff. So 525 and 110. Tow truck guy. Thanks again. Clutch kit. 117. The clutch was still 170. Good. So what? Well, 170. The clutch plate was still okay. We didn't really have to do that. Uh, but because the 98 transmission. Yeah, what do you call that? that, 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 that I, uh, sna snout, snout, I guess snout. the snout. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so that was wore out pretty bad. And we could have 
you just go with the um, original throwout bearing. Yeah, we but, could have used the one from the 06. But that would cause a problem yeah. down the road. So we decided to, you know, since we have that everything disassembled, so we decided yeah. to go with the clutch, and that clutch came with uh, the repair, repair kit. kit, right? The repair sleeve, sleeve, and uh, an oversized throwout bearing. I think that that was a look, L U K, right? Look clutch kit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got we got to talk about that, man. You're running something under the, the table. I can't yeah. tell you now. All right, so that decision was made made based on the price. Rock Auto again, the whole clutch kit came from uh, Rock Auto and we did check out the make and they're solid. I mean, they make okay parts. If this was say double the price, 300, then we would probably throw in the old stuff and it would most likely last this winter. Okay. But still, we, we had to get that uh, uh, re repair, sleeve? Re re repair sleeve. So there is another company, I think it's called PDM. We saw their kit. It looks really, really good. They use a very good bushing, I think, in NAK. Uh, NAK? No, NTN. 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 I think it's a Japanese company. NTN. Right? I think NTN, NTN or SKF. But really all, good that was bushing. 160, right? But that kit only, yeah, yeah. for the kit. It was Just the sleeve and the throat bearing? A sleeve and throw up there. Yeah, yeah, that was 160. So, but it was a little bit tighter fit. You remember? Yeah, it was. Where, tiny we, bit. Were, where, where we were, where we were checking them, you know, the the, the sleeve and the throw out bearing, you know, fit a bit nicer. So for the money, if you wanna, if you thinking about keeping car for long term, and you wanna do it properly, I would say go with that uh, 160 kit because it, in the end it will give you a much longer longe longevity. Okay, gaskets again, dealer 34. Uh, that one bearing that you saw at the rear case of the transmission that was making noise now that was questionable. Uh, it still would have most likely last the winter, maybe even longer. But uh, the new one from the dealer, from the dealer was also had a little bit of play, almost the same amount of play as the old one. But when we took the rear kind of plate off the case the very rear of the transmission there were little tiny tiny little bit of uh shavings shavings so on that basis we replaced that bearing and then uh that little fix for the remote the unlock button didn't work and the alarm kept going off i decided to we were thinking of getting a new uh, tra uh, transmission a uh, new control transmitter transmitter uh, I decided to take it apart and see what's inside, what's going on. So I ended up buying, buying a battery for six dollars, and uh, the overspent right there, right there. AutoZone man, right, right there. Seriously, right there. Anyways, uh, so that was a free fix, basically. A new remote and programming was probably be a hundred dollars or so. Probably. All right, let's uh, add these up. And and we have uh, some extra costs, but we didn't talk here. What like, was that? Like that uh, messed up uh, socket. Oh yeah. Obviously, I, 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 I don't know how much. You know, broken tools. Yeah, the guy who works the most breaks the the most tools. Right. Anyways, this obviously doesn't include tools and labor. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's we... probably more than all of this. If if you were to, uh, if you if you don't got a place, then well, good luck with that. You know, you need a garage, especially winter time. To do most of the work. I mean, it, it can be done, you know, you, sure. you, 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 using just a floor jacks and and jack stands. But man, that and, thing is much much nearer. Yeah. So if you're gonna do it, just do it, man. You know, taking up apart the uh, stuff like the diff transmission. You know, it's you gotta be some kind of uh, you know mechanically inclined, but uh, just. Get in there, get your hands dirty, uh, you know, and watch YouTube and watch a lot of YouTube, guys. Just YouTube is, is the way to go. <laughs> Till they shut it down. But a a anyway, uh, going back to the trance, we were debating on the clutch kit and that uh, repair sleeve because, you know, the case from 06, it's a little bit beefier than uh, 98. And we were thinking about actually taking all inside gears and a div and everything and you know swapping it over to a 96 uh 2006 but the problem with that is 
the tools you will need and I think a Subaru or original tool from a Subaru costs like $500 to uh, set that uh, opinion depth mm -hmm. yeah uh, you can go Indeed. to Subaru gears.com I believe and they have a pretty nice one pretty neat one for a hundred dollars but with that you know extra labor and everything we decided you know what screw it we're just gonna get a, a, a clutch repair uh, kit and call the day Hopefully it will last, so we'll see. We still have a case for uh, 2006, so if anything, we can always swap it out. Wow, we're getting there. Okay, so, so, so I initially when I got that car, I set a, a budget of a four thousand dollars. Really? Did you? Didn't tell me that. Yeah, that that, that I thought you know I'm, we're gonna be able to. Fix it mm -hmm. out the door for well, four, four grand. It's sure, not happening. At, at that time, you didn't know uh, of the of the tow truck driver and yeah. the forklift driver. Yeah, yeah. You know. yeah I, I assumed uh, you know that those parts. Are so good. we got a grand total of forty three fifty. A car that's ready to rock. Not really. Oh yeah, body shop. Not yeah. really. Not really. Now that that's the big one. That's a big elephant in the room. We don't know exactly how much that's going to be, but it might be extra five hundred, might be thousand. You, we don't, we don't know. We don't know. Hopefully, a hundred dollars. <laughs> Daniel, was it worth it? For for the knowledge and experience, totally, totally. But you know, car with that mileage. I think you can buy it for. I saw it the other day on a on a Craigslist or whatever. Uh, five, they were asking five thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Asking price, dealer. With that mileage? With that mileage, very close, very okay. close. You okay. know, uh, below sixty thousand. So, and clean title. Okay. So, in the end. We got a better transmission. This is a four yeah. tra tra trans transmission, and it really, uh, it, 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 it shined on, 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 the, on that yeah, auto was, cross. The car was actually, I, I got uh, surprised, you know, it was, in a good way. Yeah. I had to keep it in high, high RPMs to uh, keep it sideways, keep it sliding, you know, keep the power up. Uh, because I'm used to my uh, STI where I'm, I'm, you know, I, got, I get full spool at 2000 RPMs. Uh, yeah, seriously, you? stock turbo, yeah. In fourth gear, 2,000 oh, RPMs. Really? Well, 2.3 2 maybe, whatever. Low, low tools. Full spool, 20, 20 PSI. So I'm used to kind of milking it, you know, at 3,000, whatever. All I got to do is uh, touch the gas pedal and I'm going sideways. With this, I just kind of had to uh, get used to it. But still, Luke was much faster than me. You had an 86 something. I had a 90 something time, time wise. Yes. Yeah, 86 something and 90 something. I don't know. So about four seconds. Yeah, that was uh, my be behind. best time, but still, cross the kid kick our ass. Yeah, the cross thing. <laughs> Man. He, he had Blizzix, uh, better uh, winter tires. Right. The, the, I think WS90 or something. Yeah, we uh, we bought these tires because they're good for rally cross. That's what and we read, winter, read, read. And snow. Yeah, that's what we read. That they're very very yeah. universal. So you can you know run them in the snow, and if you want to do a rally cross, then they will hold up okay. Because of the the sidewall being a little bit stiffer than Blizzards, and the Blizzards are terrible for rally cross. Did I say Blizzards? Blizzards. Blizzards, I think. Okay. Blizzards. Mm -hmm. So so in, anyway, we we kind of ditched Blizzards and went with the uh, with the uh, Ultimax. Yeah. By General the way, uh, we're gonna check. We came back, parked the car, and right now it's on the lift. We're gonna check it out, uh, look over it. If anything is wrong, whatever, but uh, it didn't burn a, an ounce of oil. The car is solid and that's a, that's a good, you know, big positive. Uh, we're going to do some modifications uh, a little bit uh, more today, actually. Uh, we're going to add a, uh, a bar, whatever you want, a guard bar, whatever. Bar. We saw a few uh, cars, actually Subarus, had those kind of uh, bars. We're going to weld some things up from load locks. But that's next episode, guys. So, uh, yeah, there you go. 4300 There you go. $50. How many hours are we spent here? I think it must have been hard to say total. Yeah, because we were, we were goofing around, too. Yeah, we were, you know, people were coming in, talking, you know, and whatnot. But uh, 
I think we were like three full days, right? Like 10 hour days. So you would three. say four, 40 hours at least? I would say more than that. I would say 50 hours because a, f a few days he came in and then we did work on it maybe for two hours, three hours. But I know I'm pretty sure we had three full days. Uh, I think one day we were here for 12 hours. But that's so with breaks, you know. So so count, count if you count it only a $50 an hour, 50 hours, that's what? $2,500 on top of that? Yeah, do this yourself and get out there. Oh, yeah, it will time. get it done. It will get it done. Time wise, uh, it's always going to take, you know, if you're going to say, oh, you know, it's going to take me, uh, you know, two weeks to fix that or whatever. Add, you know, times three that. Okay. It's going to be always going to be longer. So don't overestimate yourself. Not like, not that you're an idiot or, you know, incapable. whatever. It's just like incapable of doing it. Just, it's just time and life. Okay. Uh, and always overestimate time and, and money always yep. always will we do this again yes yes <laughs> will, will we buy a good car which is you know uh i don't know messed up engine or messed up transmission because yes. right 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 but i'm, I'm saying all uh, you know the good car instead of this one i mean this is the, the chassis that, that that needs to be said the the, ch the chassis man uh, I think, it, like you, you mentioned that it probably cleaner than mine sitting in the garage and yours yeah. being kept in the garage over the winter. So yeah. uh, that was a, a, a Be besides the used fender you bought. Man, it was uh. supposed to be cheap, right? But uh, if you can get a, your hands on a, on a cheap car with a damaged transmission, for example, you can get a JDM transmission for like five hundred dollars. It comes with the diff. But even better gearing than this one because it's going to be 444. Um, yeah, this is 411, by the way. The ones, the one we have right in there right now, 411, and the one or that came in originally for the L6 is 390. Actually, it's more like 433 to be yeah. to be honest. Yeah, because of the tires. We oh tires, yeah, we have smaller tires. Where so. Our tires are a little bit. So know, we side were walls, doing sidewalls is a little bit shorter. So we were. So on the highway, we actually did 17 miles to the gallon uh, going there to Wisconsin, which was 200 and some, how many miles, miles did we do? No, 190, maybe no. 200, 200 miles from here. Almost 200 miles. Uh, we drove this car to 17 miles per gallon and at 75, this thing in fifth gear, this thing, we were at 38 RPMs or almost 4,000 RPMs. Almost 4,000, yeah. We had an STI body. Uh, we called him, he was going at the same time, he was doing the same speed and he was at 3200 3, RPMs in 6th gear. So that was the difference, so 800, uh, 7 800 difference there. Yeah, but, th but that, yeah. that actually, you know, when, when you winding up the engine, it, it, it falls really nicely right with 4000 sits so you know your power band actually starts right around there you know you, your maximum not on the highway cruising i'm just saying you know and it, right. it gets loud over there uh, you know with those winter tires and on, on the highway 4000 rpms you know it's and just... it messed up bearings <laughs> because that, i think that's that's another thing which is coming we don't know which one it is it looks like all, yeah. of, all, all of them are making making noise but they'll last throughout the winter so could be could be tired maybe it's tires i don't know i don't think so i i think it's so it's a bearing all right guys that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it remember likes su subscribe <laughs> remember like subscribe and hopefully see you soon